there are fewer and fewer places in the world where underwater life persists unthreatened. One of those few havens where marine biodiversity still manifests itself in its entire splendor is the Batanga Sea. Here, the coral slopes are teeming with life. Nudibranchs glow on the sea bottoms. Frogfish open their mouths in a long yawn. Tiny cuttlefish and poisonous octopuses hold a magical and majestic attraction. These beings, some seemingly deformed and others of spectacular beauty, appear to be the only inhabitants of an unreal and dreamlike but also fantastic world. Let us dig into the sand weave through the seaweed and cross the coral gardens to meet these strange creatures of the Batanga Sea. Known as glass anemone shrimp, In the middle of these sand deserts, the anemone is an ideal oasis for these animals to find the security they need. Thanks to the mucus covering their skin, the shrimp are immune to the anemone's poison and thus able to maintain a symbiotic relationship with them. When they change their skin, they have to move away until the mucus forms again. It's the only time apart from when they're searching for food, in which these shrimp leave their hosting anemone. When this happens, they have to progressively approach the anemone again, giving their mucus layer time to fully form. With their tail divided into five parts, they swim towards home like puppets moved by a skillful puppeteer. Other species know how to defend themselves without the need for allies. This is the case of the mantis shrimp, an especially territorial and aggressive species. It uses its two frontal extremities as a kind of lever and press, which allow it to exert tremendous force. With this force, the shrimp can hit other crustaceans and larger prey with great speed, killing them with a single blow or shocking them into stillness. Hidden among the recesses of the reef, this colored shrimp seems endearingly comical due to its fast and spastic movements. One of the most remarkable aspects of this 12 centimeter creature is without a doubt, its eyes it can move them independently. Its eyes are able to perceive a great range of wavelengths from infrared to ultraviolet. They can also detect various types of polarizations, allowing the prawn to spot small animals practically invisible to the human eye. More elusive than others, the banded coral shrimp gets its name from its prominent pincers. These pincers serve practically any purpose for capturing food, protecting itself, or for courtship. But it is in the battles with its counterparts where they are exhibited most.
The shrimp are quite aggressive, marking their territory by keeping their main claws up. This curious omnivorous crustacean is monogamous and always lives with a mate. The male is in charge of providing food while the female waits patiently. They live in caves, large sponges or anemones, and they wave their long antennae to attract the attention of fish in need of cleaning. Thus, they simultaneously feed and clean the fish's parasites, bacteria, and organic remains. On another islet, a fragile orangutan crab tries to blend in. More like a spider than a crab, the slow and awkward movements of this species are due to its very long and widely spaced legs. It's a solitary being that will only be united with a female during the mating season. It feeds on plankton and other suspended particles. If it's surprising how this crab with such a strange shape goes unnoticed, as if it were branches of this plant, it's even more incredible how the spider decorator crab blends in. In the middle of the sand, a fish has confused the crab for a potential nighttime refuge. Not even when it moves does it draw any suspicion, as it appears to be simply a plant moved by the sea currents. It's only when this crab looks for a nearby coral structure for camouflage when we can fully appreciate its form. With its head covered by a beautiful plant-animal formation, along with its terracotta color, it looks like a moving flower pot fleeing from the desert. When it begins to climb the rock, small wrinkles in its body are revealed, where bits of the reef can get entangled. Some pieces proliferate and grow, giving the crab an even more discreet appearance. There are few examples of animals with this incredible ability to disguise themselves with such beauty and efficiency. Instead of camouflaging, the Kalapa crab uses a different approach, burying itself almost completely to remain unseen. Choosing the right place to dig can be complicated, especially if your neighbor is this crocodile snake eel with an almost spectral appearance. A quick escape is worthwhile. After all, with their wide pincers, almost like shovels, it's a matter of seconds to dig and hide under the sand. Perhaps this is why they are also known popularly as the shame-faced crab.
it would be almost impossible for this albino seahorse to notice its presence. Although barely measuring five centimeters, there are lots of even smaller beings in these waters that can be vacuumed up through its delicate tube-shaped mouth. It's one of the most effective nocturnal hunters of microorganisms. This cuttlefish has total control over its color changes thanks to its pigmentary cells, called chromatophores, which expand and contract at will. Once camouflaged with its environment, it's only a matter of patiently waiting to eat. Although there's no shortage of food, it tends to stay on the move. Its swimming system is similar to its ancestors, the mollusks. Although it does have a modified structure, giving way to an inner shell that fills with air to stay afloat. Touching the seabed with its tentacles, it moves by undulating its lateral folds. Its eyes are among the most developed in the animal kingdom. Although they can't distinguish colors, they do perceive light polarization, which improves contrast. They also have a wide viewing angle, thanks to the two sensors located on their retinas. If we add to the above the speed at which it can launch its tongue, we realize why it's one of the most effective nocturnal hunters. Night gives way to creatures that wake in the morning. One creature with the most curious daytime habits is the spectacular flamboyant cuttlefish. It fights against the current, crossing the sand deserts in search of a territory more suitable for hunting. It's the only cuttlefish able to walk on the seabed. With great determination, it scares off a brittle star that it finds in its way. Its attractive color not only showcases amazing beauty, but also warns others of its venomous nature, the only one among cuttlefish, even comparable to the famous blue-ringed octopus. It uses the two V-shaped papillae on its dorsal face to camouflage itself, changing its shape and size. The eight arms with four rows of suction cups hide two tentacles, colored an intense bluish white, which it uses for hunting. With incredible speed, it launches its attack on crustaceans and small fish that have no chance of survival. 